Hi, this is Teague from Flyby Copters, and in this video I'm going to go over the Turnigy i10 model that we ship out with a lot of our custom drones. So let's begin here. Now before you turn it on, you want to make sure all these switches are in the up position. Just the switches, these don't, it doesn't matter if these are centered or not, but these all have to be on number one. And what you do is hit these two power buttons and this will turn on the transmitter. And what I'm going to do is go over quickly the controls. So here, you're going to have your throttle. It goes up and down. Okay, on the same stick, you're going to have your rudder. It goes right and left. Alright. Over here, you have your aileron and your elevator. So it goes up, down, left, and right. All right. So basically, with these are your four main controls. The throttle, the rudder, the elevator, and aileron. Now the throttle, obviously, as you raise it, it's gonna start spinning the motors and raise your drone off the ground. Now your drone will hover right around mid stick so that gives you basically you know a point at which you know how much it's going to take for it to hover. Alright the rudder when you give it rudder input will actually turn the drone clockwise or counterclockwise. Okay now these two sticks over here, or this one stick with the two controls, if you push it forward, your drone will start tilting forward and moving forward. If you do it back, it'll do it'll start tilting back and start moving back. To the right, it starts tilting to the right and it'll go to the right. And the same thing. Left tilts left, it starts moving left. Now to arm your drone, you want to make sure all the switches are in the up position and throttle down and rudder to the right. Hold it and that will arm your drone. But you also want to make sure you always have GPS lock before you arm. Okay, to disarm, throttle down and rudder to the left. Now let's go up to the switches here. All right, I'll give a brief overview. All right, SWH switch and SWF switch are your two switches that control your flight modes. Refer to your instructions because our custom built drones, everyone's setup is a little bit different. So one person might not have the same flight modes, but these two switching them down in different combinations are going to give you different flight modes but the th same thing that's always constant on every drone that we build is when they're in number one position both of them it's in stabilized mode which is manual so to say uh, not fully on manual but it, it it's as close to manual as you're going to get without using acro Okay, let's go over. If you have an FPV system set up and you have two video cameras on board, this switch right here, SWE, will control the video switch so you can switch between two different cameras. That's the video transmission. So on your FPV screen, when you flip this, it will change the video being transmitted to another camera on board. Okay, if you go over here, if you have a surveying drone and you have one of our uh, Sony A6000s or a Sony Next 7 camera installed, this switch right here, SWA, will control the actual um, when you can take a photo, the shutter release. So, 
Number two, it does nothing. If you switch it to number one, it takes photos until you bring it back down to number two. And number three, if you put it all the way down, will start recording video until you put it back to the mid position. All right. Now, all our custom drones come with um, dual rates and expo programmed into the transmitter and SWB, switch SWB turns it on and off. So up basically gives you 90% dual rates on these on uh, elevator and aileron and switching it down to number two is only going to is going to give you 70% dual rates on elevator and aileron. Um, that's good to make it less sensitive, the controls. So in other words, if you have it up, you have 90% of control authority. So it's going to, you know, when you push forward all the way, it's going to go all the way. It's 90% uh, of what it, the full movement. You could switch it to 100%, but that is, that's pretty sensitive. Um, if you switch it to number two, if you move the stick forward, it's only going to go 70%. So it's good um, if you don't want major speed going forward, left or right. Uh, it makes it a little less sensitive, um, which is great as a learning tool, or it's just great in general just to uh, fly with. All right, switch it back up to one, the default. Now, if you have a, a three-axis or a two-axis gimbal, we program this right here, VRE in the corner, for if you have a three axis gimbal, for the yaw. So this will control the yaw of the, the gimbal and turn the camera clockwise or counterclockwise on the yaw axis. All right, and to control the tilt on the gimbal, we set up knob VRA to control the tilt. All right, some of the other options that might um, be programmed is if you have a retractable landing gear, uh, switch SWC controls the retractable landing gear. So one up, it's actually, um, if you push it to number two, it retracts the landing gear. Number one is the default, that means the landing gear is is down. If you want to retract it, put it to number two. That's the basic setup of how we program the Turnigy i10 transmitter. A uh, quick note, you always want to make sure these trims right here are always centered. Each one. This one, that one, this one and that one always on zero and the other thing is one great thing about this transmitter is it gives you telemetry information so I don't know if you could see that you see EXT voltage that's going to be the voltage of your drone when you have it connected so it tells you the voltage of your battery pack, so which is great, so you know how much life you got left. And then this is the TX voltage, which is the voltage of your transmitter. So we right now we have 3.93. It also tells you up on top for this uh, for the transmitter. And then INT voltage is going to give you the voltage of your receiver on the drone once once you have it all powered up and connected. Right now we don't have it connected, so obviously that's why you don't see the two voltages, the battery pack voltage and the receiver voltage. That's uh, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, and. Uh, Check out flybycopters.com.